Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Today I'm going to be doing our top 10 favorite jigsaw puzzles of 2021. This video is actually kind of hard to do because I thought we did some awesome puzzles this year that we really enjoyed, but I was able to finally figure out our top 10 favorites. Also, before we get started, I do want to mention there are videos of all of these puzzles except for one, and I will try to leave those linked down in the description. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So starting out with number 10 is the Eurographic Harvest Festival puzzle. This one was so cute to do at Halloween. We really enjoyed doing it. This was one that we did let go and somebody did actually buy this on our Macari. So I hope that they enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, the reason why this one made our top 10 is because the image was just so cute. I just loved the little scarecrow and it was different than any other Halloween puzzle that we have ever done. Number nine is the Dog Portraits Puzzle by Buffalo Games. This one is so cute. I honestly really love this one. We actually did not do a video on this. This one we just posted on our Instagram. So we do post other puzzles on our Instagram that you guys don't see on YouTube. This one, it was just so easy and just such an enjoyable to do very quickly. And I'm really glad that we got to experience this one and keep it. Our number eight is the Frosty Treats Buffalo Games Puzzle. This one we did in 1,500 pieces, and this was actually neither posted on our Instagram or our YouTube. I'm not sure why I didn't post it, but you guys are getting to see some unseen footage right now. Um, I really enjoyed doing this one. I think there was a piece missing or something, and that's why we didn't post it, but I do believe we did keep this puzzle, if I'm not mistaken. We may have sold it. I, I don't remember. But I did enjoy it. And it was another puzzle that was rather easy. It was kind of of a gradient puzzle. And we don't usually do those. So it was a little bit different than our normal puzzles. But we did enjoy it. And that's why it made our top 10. So number seven is actually one that I just did a video on, and it is the Seiko A Perfect Holiday puzzle. If you guys went and watched that review in time lapse, you know that we did have some problems with this puzzle, but the image was just too cute for it not to make our top 10. The image, I would have to say, is probably my favorite of the year, but because of the problems that we did have with this puzzle, that's why it did kind of go pretty low in the rankings. But overall, if everything would have been perfect, it probably would have been number one. Number six is our Playbill Presents by Endless Games Puzzle. If you guys did not watch that video, this was our first puzzle that we were ever sent to review by a company. And therefore, it does hold a special place in our heart. It was so much fun to do. I did theater growing up, so this one was just a little bit of a nostalgia item for me. Um, but it was such a nice and fun puzzle to do, and I'm really glad we were sent this one. Um, this was honestly an awesome review and time lapse, so I definitely recommend that if you have not watched it, you go and check it out. I did put a lot of time and effort into this time lapse and review, but there was so many shows on here that I had just watched, and I have seen live or listened to the soundtrack when I was growing up, so I think that's why it kind of made a decently high number in our list. We are already halfway there and our number five is the Masterpieces Mr. Wiggins World Gig Puzzle. This was 1,000 pieces and we do have a review and time lapse of this one up on our channel. The reason why this one is number five is it reminds me of the Outer Banks and that is actually one of my boyfriend's favorite places to go. So it reminds me of him and I just really enjoyed this one. I remember really liking it and we actually did keep this one. So it will be one that we definitely pull out in the future.
Number four is the Charles Lasaki Buffalo Games Dockside Marriage Puzzle in 500 Pieces. This one was actually just posted on our Instagram for the 4th of July, so there's not a review on time lapse of it. Um, also, sorry that the video is kind of grainy. The only video that I could find was the one that I actually posted on our Instagram, but when I do Instagram videos, I have to put it in Insta size, and it's a whole big ordeal, so that's why it's a little bit grainy, so excuse me for that. Um, I love this puzzle honestly, just because of the image. I really like Charles Osaki's images, but I love that it has old American flags in it, and there's some little salutes to the United States um, Army and the Marines and other um, corps in this puzzle. It just reminds me so much because my family is um, a military family, so that is why it is so high. This one was so cute and it is our number three, which is the Vermont Christmas Company Halloween Haunted Party. I love this puzzle. Although the quality wasn't the best, I remember that the image just trumped it so much. This honestly is probably my second favorite image of the year. I loved it so much and it is one I'm so excited to go back and do in the future. Number two is the 2000 piece Seiko Disney Pixar movies puzzle. I love Disney Pixar. Pixar is honestly what I grew up watching. I was not a big Disney princess type of person, regular Disney movies. Pixar was where it was at for me. So I really enjoyed doing this puzzle. This is honestly a 2000 piece that I really did enjoy. And that is why it is so high up on our list. Last, but certainly not least, is our number one puzzle, which is the White Mountain Dairy Bar Puzzle. I absolutely loved this puzzle. I love that I had cows on it, just the image. This is honestly, I think, one of White Mountain's best images. This was so much fun to do, and it was one that we kept. And I'm really, really glad because I want to return to do it pretty, pretty soon. Um, but it is such a cute image. It just has so many things that I love in it, like the little baseball that brings back summer memories and ice cream. I love ice cream. There's just so many things that this puzzle is just so wonderful about and it earned the spot of our number one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our future puzzle content. Also, make sure you head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzle and Through Life, and give that a follow. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different video. It was quite fun. I wanted to do it in a unique way. That's why this video is kind of late. Um, I hope you guys have a great new year, and I cannot wait for our future puzzles in 2022. Bye!